Hi there, this is Solitaire Owen from Solitaire Owen Films and welcome to another episode of In The Frame. Today's episode focuses on the Pixar films. Um, I could be wrong but I think there's 26 official Pixar films. I have 16 of them. I think I have watched another few. Um, and no doubt I'll see the later ones. Um, at some point. Um, I've said for a lot of years that Pixar and animated films probably have better direction and better acting than most Hollywood um, live action films. Um, obviously some are better than others. I did pick up a box set of Pixar off of eBay a few years ago but it was without the box so I think I got um, a good bunch of the films for like 20 quid just because it didn't have a box so they're in these little square cardboard um, sleeves so this is the early shorts famous one with the lamp um, and the tin toy short, which led to the idea to make Toy Story. Um, and the first official one from 1995 is Toy Story. I'm not a huge fan of the Toy Story films, but they're good, clean fun um, for all the family. I suppose there's a bit of nostalgia for a simpler time um, before you realise how horrible the big wide world was. Um, a Bug's Life. Or Pixar's version of Seven Samurai. Toy Story 2. Monsters Incorporated and what a horrible monster they've put on the cover because as we know human beings are the worst monsters of all. Um, this set did also include um, Cars and Cars 2 but I had to get rid of them because um, they were not my bag. Um, Finding Nemo Which is quite wonderful. I mean, again, the Pixar stories are basically about acceptance. They're about trying to understand other people, even though they may be different than you. Um, underdog stories, um, how you know we're different, we all have some commonality. And these are stories that, even though they're universal and have been done lots of times. Um, I think in today's day and age it's pretty good lessons. The Incredibles. Which again has lots of dark moments for adults. Ratatouille. Again, proving how terrible human beings are and will take credit for things that rats have done. Um, and this is the second short collection. This has another um, 12 shorts, including Burn E and Doug's Special Mission. Speaking of Wall-E, this, for me, is one of my favourite Pixar's 
um, considering the first 20 minutes or so is pretty much a silent film. Um, a lot of the Pixar films work just beautifully without the volume. A lot of it you don't actually need the dialogue at all. Um, then we have perhaps my favourite Up, which has um, one of the most brutal opening 10 minutes of a film um, ever, and this is supposed to be for kids. Um, it does get more and more brutal um, the older you get, um, and if your parents are still alive and they are getting older, um, and rotting before your eyes then Up is pretty brutal even though it does contain arguably the greatest animated character of all time um, in Doug the Dog who is absolutely fantastic and a complete genius um, it's a wonderful um, story but it is absolutely brutal and there's the the box set edition. Such vivid colours. Then we have, we have Toy Story 3. I don't have Toy Story 4. I have seen Toy Story 4. Um, you can make the argument perhaps I should have left it at 3. But money makes the world go round even for... A huge animated studio owned by Disney. And then we have Brave or the Scottish one. There's a bit too much ginger hair on evidence in this one but that's just me. And Monsters University which I really should get rid of because it's not that good but I, um, I have kept a hold of it because it might not be that good but it's not Cars or Cars 2 just an opinion, my opinion is not fact um, Inside Out which I think is perhaps a little overrated if that's such a thing um, with Pixar films it's another good solid film about a teenager psyche embodied by these um, characters. Then we have The Good Dinosaur, which I think is kind of underrated a bit. Again, works perfectly fine as a silent film. Um, again, looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we have a couple that I've only recently seen. Um, this is Soul. This is a 4K steelbook, yes I still don't have 4K but this is a 4K and Blu-ray steelbook which for some reason I managed to pick up for about £6 on eBay I don't exactly know why um, but that has the 4K and the Blu-ray um, and a special features disc yeah, Soul again is this really for kids? I'm not sure kids would appreciate as much as adults do um, really depressing and wonderful um, as we all know we've completely wasted our lives and then finally the most recent one that I've seen is Luca literally about fish out of water and again accepting each other even though we're different even though we think we're monsters um, why can't we just get on which again, you can argue that's a trite, overworked kind of message, but I think it's a message we should all take to heart. So that's Luca. Again, perhaps not their best work, but still enjoyable enough. Um, and again, they've done a sequel to Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, which I don't think I've seen. They did a sequel to The Incredibles. The Incredibles 2, I believe that's called. Um, Toy Story 4. four um, and they have done Turning Red, which I haven't seen, but by all accounts, that's more of a kid's film and not as much for 
little subtext for adults, the way up in soul, I would say, has more for adults than it does for kids. Um, and then they've recently just released Lightyear, which, as far as I can tell, nobody likes. Um, but again, these are all enjoyable films to various degrees. Um, and a couple of them are quite brutal um, and quite wonderful. I would say Wally -E and Up are probably um, my favourites. But there's a lot of pleasure to be had from Pixar. And like I say, for me, I would rather watch a Pixar film than the latest um, Hollywood live action effort. Um, and I do stress the word effort. So thanks very much for watching this very brief overview of my tiny Pixar collection. Um, the Luca, as you'll see, has a numbered spine. This is number 24, but I'm not going to get caught up in that. Let's put an end to that rumour right now. Um, yeah, please let me know in the comments what your favourite Pixar films are and whether you actually think they're for kids or they're actually for adults. Um, and hopefully you'll join me again for more videos. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films. Sing farewell.